What's going on YouTube? Thanks for tuning into the channel. It's your boy Devin Coach. Welcome to DAC Attack. Coming to you with a video here about getting right in 2020. Um, man, where should I start off? Start this off. So I'm going to start this off uh, with you know some of my observations over the last few months, spe specifically during the New Year's times. A lot of people are pushing a lot of products, uh, offering a lot of things. Um, I'm often in those chats. Uh, if they do anything live. I've heard a lot of people call in um, to a number of uh, different channels, as well as I've taken courses <clears throat> previously, so I've been involved with the people that are joining these. Uh, one thing I want to say is that generally, I would say the mass majority um, are not at a very like great position. A lot of these people seem to be, and it's not like I'm asking them these questions, just off of their conversation. Uh, specifically are like a lot of them are probably young um, don't have a lot of money um, and it doesn't seem like they have a lot of like discipline or lack of a better term like things to do uh, that they have like set that they're taking action on doing consistently and I mean this kind of runs the gamut on different verticals so I mean whether it's like entrepreneurship business uh, which I will kind of talk on first uh, health and fitness um, that's a big one um, <clears throat> you know, social things, uh, dating, pickup, things like that. I've been in a lot of those different channels. I've seen the responses and I can just tell that a lot of people are not at a great position. So the, the, the two main things that I think people are missing, number one, it is money. Um, that let's stick with business to start with. It's the easiest one to kind of elaborate this on. In future videos, I'll kind of elaborate this uh, a little bit deeper, but just to start with business. Um, a lot of people see advice that's like quit your job and start a new business, follow your passion, um, <clears throat> you know, don't work for yourself, hustle, hustle, hustle. Uh, there's a definitely a big uh, YouTuber that said something one time. It's like, if, you, if you're going to make 40K for, you know, a job or if you want to hustle and make 40K, you know, doing that's better. Well, you know, just like Grant Cardone says, I don't really believe 40K is helping anybody out. Uh, it's not a great salary and you should be trying to increase your earning potential if that's where you're at. Um, the average is about at $50,000. Um, and I think that that's the place that a lot of people need to start is increasing their earning potential. There's a number of jobs. Um, and I don't think that's being explained very well. Like you don't need to start a new business to make this type of money and I wouldn't even recommend it. I feel like the position that I'm in, I'm in the top 10% of earners in the country right now and I have been for the last three years and it's not like I think I'm this super special dude that's done something crazy. I went to college, I had a major that everybody told me what are you going to do with that? And I'm making more money than most of the people that said that. And I'm including doctors, dentists, because when you add in a lot of the loans that they had to take out for additional years of schooling that I was making money, um, you know, they're definitely behind. And if I make certain moves, I can do things that will, you know, increase that as well. So that's something that I definitely want to share. But there's tons of jobs, you know software sales like I'm doing, you know, being a developer, those are more technical routes, but I do have, you know, friends also that are iron workers. Uh, there's a show called Dirt, Dirty Jobs with Mike Rowe and he always talks about how like a lot of these jobs that um, are devalued in the school system actually are very high paying. Like there's not a lot of plumbers and that job is not gonna be automated very uh, quickly. If you know anything about construction, I used to have a construction uh, business in my early 20s. I mean, very rudimentary, but I work with a lot of like real construction businesses because I did mostly painting and power washing and things of that sort. Uh, but like, you know, if you're really ripping down a structure or you're digging in on pipes, there is always, and I mean literally always, shit you didn't think about, shit you couldn't know until you opened it up. It's stuff that like a, a, a machine will never be able to assess that and give you an accurate quote um, like a human can. So even there's even physical jobs where you don't need any experience. It's just a little bit of dedication, a little bit of skin in your own game that you can follow, that you can do this. And I would love to get into that, um, you know, in future videos. And I'll be honest, I'm going to focus mostly on software sales since that's what I'm doing and how to do that. But most of what I'm saying is going to be applicable uh, across the board. Number two uh, would be um, what I'm just going to call like discipline and kind of understanding yourself. Uh, but I'll kind of break all of these down. So first is increase your earning potential, which I just explained. And I think that using doing it as a, with a job is the best. 
Um, and that's for a number of reasons. When I get to part three, I'll kind of circle back to this. But number two would be making yourself the anchor. Um, being that we live in these very technological times, you know, everything on the internet, I, you know, been around the internet for a lot. A lot of people that are my age and younger definitely have been, and even older. I mean, I work with people that are older that are using, obviously, social media and things of that sort. Um, but basically, you're completely bombarded constantly with new ideas. And I think a lot of people are following too many people when they don't have any direction coming internal from themselves. Like, this might be, you know, you know, taking some time to meditate, taking some time to, you know, take out vices, alcohol, weed, smoking, jerking off, you know, things of that sort. Um, because a lot of times what I've noticed, video games, anything that's taken away a word that we hear all the time, like boredom. Being bored is like a terrible thing in this day and age and people are always trying to fix it and never face it. But you got to think things like depression, things like anxiety, things like boredom. I think that we live in an age where we try to act like you're never supposed to feel those things. But those things are supposed to tell you something so you can figure it out, uh, you know, what you need to do. Um, so setting an anchor of yourself and setting your own goals in your own direction is very important in a day and age where everybody's trying to pull you this way and that way. That's how you get pulled into get rich quick schemes. And I'm being honest, I've been pulled into that myself early on in my early 20s. I did a number of MLM uh, type of companies getting caught up in, do you want to be your own boss? You know, you want to do that? And it's bullshit. It's not going to work. Well, I don't want to say it's not going to work for anybody, but it's not going to work for me. Um, and there's even more here, you know, there's an Airbnb course, there's a course on how you don't have to put any money down and do real estate. There's courses on how to sell on Amazon, how to sell on eBay, Craigslist, all this other shit. But if you don't have skin in your own game, if you don't have your own goals, it's very easy to get sucked into them. And if you're not committing to any of them, you're not going to prosper in any way. And let's be honest, if somebody, if it is being popularly pushed and a lot of people are making money there, that is not what we call like a niche. That is going to be something that's going to be shark infested. There's a book I never read, but I know the terms. That's a red ocean. You want to go to a, like with a bunch of sharks and dead guppies in there. You want to go to a blue ocean where people aren't doing other things. And that's why my main focus is not to be you know, the main, uh, like, guru for, you know, becoming a billionaire. Like, I don't know how to do that shit, and I'm watching people that can get me to a trajectory of where my goals are. But I think this middle ground is very unspoken because it's unsexy that, you know, what you need to do is get a job and figure out how to make more money at your job, and that might be, you know, taking certain things to jump. Next thing, you know, it's going to be internal. You don't need to buy anything for this. You need to fucking walk around the park and think and come up with your own ideas, and then, that brings me to number three, which is um, establishing discipline and a regimen and a real routine that you can stick to, to achieve these things. So um, this is something that I also quoting or paraphrasing from uh, The War of Art by Stephen Pressfield. Um, your job is a place where you are already a professional. Like you already show up when you don't feel like it. You already spend 40 hours a week, which is just an assumption I'm making that whatever you're doing, even if it's 30 hours a week, but you show up on a consistent basis, no matter what, doing your job while you're there. Uh, that's a great experience for you to take. Um, it, it doesn't make sense to just try to start your own business when you have no work experience or you don't very minimal work experience and also no skills. Why don't you use the job as a playground and pick things that want to have skills you want to develop, but then also you're making the correct amount of money you have so that if you want to do these things, you're not sitting there desperate about where's my next paycheck coming and this new thing that you just created that you don't really have a fucking plan for is not like what your, um, it's not what your livelihood is based on. Like it's based on something solid that somebody else is doing that you're, can just, you know, do your little playground within and obviously work hard. But um, the discipline thing is the only way you're going to get things done is being able to um, have discipline. There's kind of one definition that I like. It comes from Brandon Carter, or at least he's the one that I heard say it for the first time. It's doing what you need to do when you need to do it, whether you feel like it or not. Uh, that's number one. The part that I will add to it is kind of more of a preface to it, and that is being able to decide on things that you need to do um that will get you closer to your goal and these are things that there's no playbook for it's going to be something that is integral to what you want to do and you're going to have to have the courage to know and that's why number two is setting yourself as the anchor that that's the right decision you know what's best and you're going to go in that that way and that takes a lot of 
one courage and, and just belief in yourself and, and something that 50 cent talked about when people were calling him arrogant when he first came out he was like you guys gotta understand i got famous in 2002 since 1997 i thought that i was good enough so for five years i was running on my own energy he's like people like nobody is like pushing me to the front like i'm running on my own energy to push myself there in 2000 got signed to columbia he gets shot nine times he loses his deal and he has to work it back up so just thinking about working on your own energy and, and having your own belief in what you need to do following that path and getting it done the last one number four so at this point i probably spent about fifteen thousand dollars since 24 to i'm almost 28 in a couple weeks uh and I probably spent about $15,000, of course. Definitely got a lot of value from the courses that I purchased, but I would say less, about 40% were super useful. The other 60%, which is more, is, and I'm not even counting books, uh, is like that 60% was not actually that useful. Didn't really, I, I mean, just being honest, I don't feel like it delivered the value of what I was sold. So. You need to make sure you choose your resources rightly. You don't want to have certain regrets. You don't want to get in your head feeling like you made mistakes. That's something I'm going to elaborate on a little bit more because I did buy, you know, $7,000 right off the top I can think of, of courses that is two, two courses that added up to this. And basically like both of them did not really like live up for me to, to the expectation. So I do want to help also, uh, like help explain how to actually choose the right resources whether it's a book whether it's um a course that is super expensive or whether it's nothing at all like your discipline isn't there you're not even going to use the course so just to kind of step back and summarize number one um you know 2020 you need to increase your earning potential if you're under that 70 75 thousand uh, dollar mark i i live in new york so it's super fucking expensive so maybe you live in a different situation but if you're not at that kind of level and that's the level um, where they've done studies that your happiness being correlated to money it starts to diverge um if you're not at that level i, I don't see how you can do something else that's going to take away from that and, and you're like if you try to start a business or do something like that like you're going to still be you're going to be fucking panicking and scared of money like in general um so that's number one and then for everything else it just makes everything easier it's way easier to get in shape when you have money you're not worried about your gym membership or eating good food eating out maybe a little bit and you're like looking at your accounts it just removes so much fucking stress from your life let's talk about dating as a dude especially like being not nervous to pay for shit and it's not like oh dude well she taking advantage of me because i pay for this like dude i don't give a fuck like i spent a stupid fifty dollars you know every month at least so you know spending one or two or three or more it's like that's not like a big deal it's not like a pain that's like dude now i can't eat um so uh that's number one number two is making yourself the anchor you're gonna have to be very confident um very strong in the idea that you know it's best the direction you're moving is the way you want to move and it's correct like you're there's no playbook nobody's going to give you the answers and nobody's going to come to you and say you know you're allowed to do this now it's going to be something that you're going to have to just you know step up you know just stick your chest out and, and just believe that i know what's best the path that i'm going on even if i don't see the results i know this is the path that i need to take i thought about it i know myself and this is where i'm going to go uh number three you need to develop discipline i think this helps to go to number one because when I kind of lay out the different steps you can go to achieve number one, it's going to increase that discipline. Actually, even number two, it's going to increase the discipline when you know yourself better because you know the things you can do to get leverage on yourself. Um, but number three, you need discipline. If you want to do anything great, you want to achieve anything new, you want to purchase any fucking course, you better have discipline to one, go through the course, and then two, and most importantly, take action and apply it. And then number four, obviously, you know, you want resources, you want things that are going to help you, but uh, you want to make sure that you're choosing the right ones. And I have a lot of experience um, in the good and the bad. And there's definitely there's definitely clear warning signs that this was not maybe right uh, for the ones that went bad. And for the ones that went right, there's definitely signs that were different from the other signs that identify why this was a good fit. And I did get the great value from it. So those that's all I really wanted to touch on. Just kind of a complete overview. 
have an idea of what my focus is going to be in terms of my channel for 2020 but um that's it for today if you like the content hit the like button hit the dislike button don't really care any uh feedback will do uh subscribe leave some comments below um and until next time peace